Okay, here we have two more giant robots, unrelated. Um, this particular one was made by a metal house in uh, Japan. As you can see on this box, you do have the Japanese writing. But you also have an English side. And down here you can actually see some of the uh, information. You notice what they've done on this particular version, since it is still large and it is still metal, although the door sides are plastic, again, and the inside of the door sides are, uh, are plastic. But you do have the metal legs, feet, arms, body, head, still the 3D cells, very heavy. Um, it's even stamped with a serial number, number 273, so this apparently 273rd one they made, made in Japan stamped. They've uh, dropped the uh, rotomatic part from the design. So now it's just a walking robot with, uh, with guns. We had them running out of uh, space here. Big piece of machinery. Okay, and then the all plastic one that's sitting here. I mean, everything is plastic. The shoes, the feet, the legs, the bodies, the doors, the arms. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Made by Mego in Hong Kong. There's the Mego. There's your Hong Kong. And it uh, operates on 3D cells as well. In this case, they have them all facing up in the same direction. That's different than all the other giant ones. Let's take a look at the bottom of the feet. Yep, even that's plastic. Um, this guy does run. I'm not going to run him because I don't want to make things worse. He walks, but I haven't seen him uh, roto, if you will. And because of its fragile nature and rarity being all plastic, I think I'm just going to leave him the way he is. Showing one more giant robot, but these uh, all just walk forward. You notice those first two that I showed you before can walk forward and backward. These, like all the other toys, just walk forward.